In order to edit the main menu, like this one here, where it says home, memory directory, how it works, latest news, join today. We go to the back end, we go to toolbox, menu manager. Okay. And then we try to edit this one. Header main menu. So we click edit. And here's where we say where we want somebody to go if they click on the home option, memory directory option, how it works, etc. Okay. There's a couple of things that you need to know about um, that you need to know about the main menu. So for example, let's say that we wanted to create a sub menu. You are able to drag it from here. Okay. And you can see that if I drag it to the right, it visually looks like it's indented. If I save that you'll see now on the front that the memory directory is underneath the home. So if we refresh, we see the memory directory is gone. If we hover over the home, you'll see that now this shows. Okay. Um, on some sites, not all of them, but on some sites, you'll see like a three level kind of thing here. So you'll see how it visually looks here on the the home page. So we got the home. If you hover over the memory directory, it does this. See? Got that nice look there. Now there's another thing about the the main menu. Let's do this. We can get it out. Get it out. And let's create or actually just own several of them. Okay. Because well, what I want to do is make sure that there's there's not enough space to um, for the for the main options to to show here. So they get pushed. Show you what happens here. Okay, so we got all of those options there. Save that one. Okay, so add one more. Okay, so we got all these options, okay? When you have way too many options as the main menu options it is recommended to start grouping them okay you see so based on what type of actions uh they do or maybe they're related to a type of feature so maybe you have here uh blogs about a specific category and maybe here you also have blogs about another category and here you have another type of blog category they are all blogs. So the recommended approach is just to create one that says blogs that takes them directly to the search uh, results for the blog page. But then underneath it, you can put all the categories. Okay. So if somebody clicks on blogs, they go to the search results for blogs. If somebody hover over any of the options in there, they can just click um, on, the, on that specific category and they'll end up seeing that specific category. And in order for you to actually do something like that, my recommendation is typically to do the following. Let's say that we got this blog page, the search results for the blogs, and we want to showcase this specific category as one of the options in the main menu. So we just click there and we copy everything after the first slash of the page and we go to the main menu. So for example, this is the blog. And here's uh, category one or whatever we would call it. Just paste that there. That's the URL, that I, like, the piece of the URL that I just copied. And we put that baby in here. Okay. So we save it. And now we got, you know, the main menu blog option here. But if they want to go to a specific category, they can go through here by me copying that, that piece of the URL there. So if I click here, fresh, 
You can go to the specific category for the blocks or just for all the blocks. Click there, I get to the, to the block page. Another issue that I see is the following. Sometimes, sometimes, it's a visual issue. Um, somebody does this, latest blogs from around the world, okay? And you have that huge text there. And what happens is the system tries to automatically try to fit that in, in specific space, and it turns the whole thing into a two-liner. So you're gonna see that now everything is two-liners, okay? Uh, and it just, it looks weird for the rest of them. So one approach is trying to make this a little bit uh, less words. So maybe you could do something like uh, latest things around the world, uh, latest world news. Okay. Save that one. That's one approach of doing that. Um, but sometimes even making it small doesn't doesn't help. So let's say that for some reason you have here, uh, yes, you have something that's a little bit longer than the maximum recommended size for a, for a menu option, for a main menu option. So the two liner happens. For this specific case, my recommendation is going here to design settings, okay, on the general. Uh, area design settings and then you look for the main menu option and here you lower a bit you start playing with this the size of the text so let's say if we get it from 16 to 14 we save that one also changing the font family sometimes helps but you got to remember that if you change it here you got to change it in multiple places to to be you know consistent so let's refresh and now you got latest world news, yes, on the same line. And now everything looks nice and neat. Okay. So that's my advice. That's how you edit the main menu. Again, go to toolbox, menu manager, and you look for the header main menu. And you're able to play around with that one there. And you can see some tips. You're able to drag, indent, create up to a third level kind of thing. And some tips about how to handle long names, how to handle multiple main menu options that actually share something alike and how to paste a link on them so you know that it's working. In the case that you want to put something that's like a coming soon kind of thing and you do like a home uh, coming soon or just soon and you don't want people to be able to go there, just put a hashtag, just a hashtag, that's it. And that will make it like a temp link there that people can see. But if they click, it doesn't do anything. It just doesn't do anything. It just stays there. Okay. So that's it. So I hope you liked the video. Big hugs and think positive.